Well, good evening to you and uh, welcome on this most perfect evening for a game of football. Conditions are absolutely splendid and the folk of this town have come out in their droves for this match. Why wouldn't they? It is an ideal circumstance for what could be an ideal game. Everybody has been attracted to it. It has been the talk of the town and uh, the buses have been packed. Double-decker buses lining up outside. Coaches have carried thousands of away supporters here too and uh, all of it adds up to make a terrific a crackling atmosphere the match i think will be quite a spectacle and this must be amongst the favored arenas of supporters all over the world it really does have a very special feel to it and having a look at the lineups here it looks very much jim like a 5-4-1 well, a reinforced rear guard, Peter, and a compact midfield probably suggests that they're focusing much on giving very little away. I think if you commit to that, then you really can't afford to concede because it clearly demands a quick change in approach if you do, which isn't always easy because in the build-up to this, believe me, they'll have been working principally on organisation and shape in training. And it's not easy just to suddenly come out of that. But if you did just miss it, we are up and running already. And it's played forward. Tries to dink it in. Forward it goes. Midway through the first half, and there's an impotence about this game that's causing me concern, and, and probably most of the stadium too. Let's just hope that by the end, it'll have been forgotten. Better options before the ball was lost. Easy to save from up here, I know. Looks to thread it through. And through to the goalkeeper. Well, that's where he wants it. And he's made sure that that won't get through. He's making good use of his strength there, just refuses to be out-muscled. Cuts it out. Tries to get it forward quickly. It's half time here. So both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. It's the first half compared with your expectations. It's been a pretty abject performance. No efforts at goal. I'm struggling to remember the last time we had that. And after 45 minutes, it is still goalless. A change perhaps after half time. Already up and running for the second half. So, deadlock still as the second half begins. He's come through and he's had a quick look inside. Oh, smart save. Chance! Oh, fine stop from the keeper. Well, you can't ask for much more than that. A difficult moment he simply had to deal with. Towering header! Just 
just off target. Good effort, very good effort. He would have at least wanted to make the keeper work, though. each to cancel the other out and he's there to clear it just brushed off the ball there very few chances to talk of Jim defenses it seems on top here well I think it's a, a fair reflection of what we've seen so far neither side has produced that many efforts at goal simply because Respective defences have been strong. They've played it short. Pumps it into the area. It's out for a goal kick. Hoists it forward. Keeps everyone guessing. Plenty waiting in the middle. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Concentration levels are very good, and so is the commitment. This game could yet yield a winner. And now they can launch a counter. That's great defensive work. It doesn't take too much imagination to guess what would have happened otherwise. Well, he was thinking about headlines, I'm sure, but he ought to focus more on, on breaking lines. And it's played forward. And that's it. And a frustrating game for attackers on either side. They hardly had a sniff. Defence is broadly in charge, and it has finished goalless. So what do you take away from it, Aldrin? Well, neither side.